update on the new ticker muzzle brake that I've purchased. Um, this is a ticker branded muzzle brake and it actually suits a variety of calibers from 223 all the way up to 338. because um, you know obviously you want to try and match your muzzle brake to your caliber for best performance but um, I'm only shooting a 6.5 Creedmoor and I'm just looking to tame down the recoil a little bit so I can spot my shots so I think this should be well suitable um, as you can see we just do a quick inside diameter measurement these aren't the most accurate calipers but you get the idea so it's about 9.8 millimeters so definitely will suit the the 338 And obviously a fair bit too big for the 6.5 mil, but you know we'll see how it goes over the next few months when we test it out. So as you can see, um, this has an actual clamp to try and clamp onto your muzzle. Um, when I installed this, it was quite loose, obviously, so you need to tighten that up. I did find, however, um, one thing I wasn't too happy about, so I've had it installed for a few weeks now, is um, during the install, even though that clamp was really loose it has actually scratched my muzzle um, so I'll show you that here just bring it into the picture so you can see it's just a little bit shiny on the end on the end there um, it's a bit disappointing but on this rifle I guess it's gonna wear a muzzle brake full-time um, so not a big deal but yeah it's taken the coating off the blue which is a bit bit annoying and um, yeah, definitely nothing was tightened when I put it on, so just actually installing the muzzle brake has done that. You can see it's got like a little, a little lip in there, whether that's rubbed on it or something along those lines, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, I'll show you the fit. One thing I was really stoked with, besides the scratching obviously, is just how well this indexes. Um, as you can see, that's basically dead on um, in line with the barrel, which is super awesome because I was actually a bit concerned that, you know, it's not really an indexing brake where I'd have to get anything adjusted, but clearly ticker do some amazing accurate work there and that's that's indexed really nicely. So I'm just gonna cinch up the little clamp bolt at the top there. So tightening that up just I guess locks it onto your muzzle. Main thing is obviously make sure you undo that if you're going to take the muzzle brake off otherwise you're going to scratch it but you know in saying that I hadn't even done that that um, that bolt up it was at its you know loosest position and still scratched my muzzle so yeah not, not totally chipper about that but you know what can you do so that's pretty much it for installing it. So obviously this is a ticker CTR, um, so it's got the, the varmint style barrel. Still not 100% sure what the screw is for on the top. Um, guessing it's another way to clamp it onto your muzzle. Not 100% sure, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of research because there's not a lot of instructions about these on the web. So, and I bought this second hand, so yeah, it didn't come with any instructions. So only thing I can think of looking inside it is that it actually, you know, clamps it down onto the barrel but you know this thing is so snug it's not going anywhere once you snug up that little clamp bolt underneath um, so overall like it really suits the rifle my rifle looks awesome um, with that installed just a bit of a disappointment that it scratched obviously my barrel but you know I guess your your mileage may vary um, be interesting to see you know what the recoil is like with that installed and the muzzle blast obviously with muzzle brakes you get some you know additional muzzle blast and noise and that sort of thing so you know it can be a little bit harsh on some of the shooters around you but you know that's that's rifles and, and guns in general so my, my opinion on it is if you don't like muzzle brakes you know don't shoot guns but anyway a lot of people have different opinions on that so yeah that's, that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoy and um yeah see you next time